Well, here's an interesting bit of retro computer tech. <clears throat> this is an IBM 5140 PC convertible. Now, this was a kind of intermediate step between the sort of bulky, luggable computers like the Compact Portable 3 that I did a video on a while back and a fully fledged laptop. Now, the 5140 was released in April 1986, and this is six years before the first ThinkPad will appear. As you can see, it doesn't really have an awful lot of, of external ports. There's the power button here, power jack. Um, yeah, there we go. That's where the battery goes in there. Sadly, the battery was missing on, on my example. And then under that little flap there, let's drop the camera down a little bit so you can see it, is the docking port connector. And that's the only port on this computer. Now it has a handle on the front here, which uh, slides out, I'll try not to knock the camera. There you go, there's your carrying handle. Very nice. So let's open it up and talk specs. There are a couple of little catches. There's one at this end and one at this end. And the nuts, they're free. There we go. This whole thing. So like that. Now, it has a very unusual mechanism because the keyboard and floppy drives all lift up. If I turn it on its side, you can see. Let's uh, change the angle a little bit. There we go. Right, so as you can see, this is, there's this gap has appeared here, which uh, puts the floppy drives at an angle and the keyboard is raised up at the back slightly. Um, now, it's powered by a 4.77 megahertz Intel 8088 CPU. It originally shipped with 256 mega RAM, but this one's been upgraded to 512. I believe there are three or possibly four um, memory card slots where you can actually upgrade the RAM even further. The screens are monochrome CGA compatible LCD, which is not backlit, back, backlit, oh, I can't speak, which is not backlit. It has two graphics modes, 640 by 200 and 320 by 200, and it will do uh, 80 by 20, 25 text. It's fitted with two 720 kilobyte, three and a half inch floppy drives. Now, later models actually came with a backlit LCD display, which looked identical to this one, except uh, it had another slider over this side. Uh, shipped with IBM PC DOS, and this one actually came with uh, the startup disk, which is fantastic. So I've got the original IBM PC DOS startup disk. Now, it has a couple of unique features. As I showed you, Previously, it only has the one ISA bus-based port on the back. There are various modules that you could get that connected to this port. They basically clipped on and plugged into the back of the computer. There was a printer, a CRT display adapter, and a serial parallel adapter. It also had another unique feature, and that is that you can completely remove the display. If you just press the here, this clip comes off, and a little bit of easing. The display, I'll hang out the way they like. The display comes off completely. Now, I believe that the reason for this was there was a stand that you could get for this computer, and it would allow you to put a CRT monitor here and then connect it into the CRT display adapter, which was the accessory that plugged onto the back. Um, which is quite, you know, <laughs> it's quite, it's quite an interesting feature. Okay, I popped the display back on. This particular one was listed on eBay as untested by, as the seller didn't have a power supply for it. Fortunately, I did have a suitable power supply and after finding the right size DC jack, we're good to go. So uh, let's turn it on and have a look at it. Now I've angled the light away a little bit and hopefully the screen will show up a little bit better. Does its RAM count to start with, and it comes up and asks you to put the time in. And we just hit a key. Hopefully, 
See if we can get in a little bit closer on that. Well, it sounds like it's booting. Good. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Asking us for a, for the date and the time. And there we have it. We have booted into DOS. Let's just do a DIR. And there it is in all its glory. Uh, as you can probably see, there are a few broken lines at the bottom of the screen here. But, you know, <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. The thing works. And, and the other floppy drive works too. It's, it's absolutely fine. As you can see, display is not very legible. I'm not sure how well the camera will show this, but um, what I think is remarkable about this computer is that it's over 30 years old. And apart from those few lines on the bottom of the screen, it's still working perfectly. All I did when I got it was I gave it a wipe over with Windex and I blew out the floppy drive for compressed air. <coughs> Let's come back out again. And there she is. So there you go, that's the IBM 5140 PC Convertible from 1986. And I think it's an interesting machine and it's a, it's a little footnote in the history of portable computers. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching, as always. Cheers.